right, we're live. Sweet. <laughs> I'll reveal these later. Listen, go ahead and start with the, the name of your show, and then you can introduce me, and then I'll talk about how we got this. Okay. Hi, uh, Tim Miller. Um, guest starring here with Thomas. Um, I I have my own show. It's called Reverse Film in the Kitchen, where I cook and rest film it recipe, and I review rest film in reverse order, obviously. So, and but I'm gonna do something different today with Thomas over here. Yeah. So a while back, I was listening to a podcast. They were reviewing um, some drinks and stuff, and. One time uh, for an episode, they brought on uh, some ice cream and they mentioned this company out of New York. It's called Van Leeuwen or Leuven or something like that. And um, this is a limited edition craft macaroni and cheese ice cream. And so I made a couple jokes about them on stage and Tim had the good idea of us doing a food review of it. So here we are. It says, Dear Mouth, enjoy sincerely the lid. A life without anything good is bad. Mine says, Good job, hands. Now it's mouth's mouth turn. <laughs> Sounds very sexual, actually. All right, what is your first impression looking at it? Looking at it, okay. I mean, it's very, very yellow. Very yellow. I can definitely, yeah. All right, should we do it? What do you think? Definitely taste the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like mac and cheese. Yeah. It tastes like crack mac like, and cheese. It's a little sweeter than mac and cheese. Like if you cook mac and cheese and you added sugar. Oh man. This is some good ice cream though. It's got like a nice uh, fluffy texture to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like the, the label says craft mac and cheese. Mm. Oh, I like that sweet and salty. I like it. Yeah. So you guys can find this. Um, they have a website online. Uh, they shipped it within a week. It comes in a nice little uh, dry ice container. Um, we got some other flavors to supplement the order. I think you have to have a minimum of five or six pints of ice cream. And um, yeah, pretty reasonably priced too. Yeah. All right, what's um, what's your rating for this, Tim? Let's see, out of five, or what's what's the what's the raging metric we're using? Let's use aprons. I'm gonna add a seven aprons. Out of seven aprons, okay, I'll give it. I'll give it like three aprons, then like a half apron. Okay. I'm leaning towards, uh, yeah, like a, a three apron. I think it's worth the try. Would I order it again? Probably not, but I think it's worth the, worth the experience. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't believe it when I first heard that this was an actual product. Um, we ordered the dang thing and, um, there you have it folks. It's a uh, Kraft Mac and cheese ice cream. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of thirsty too. <laughs> Do you mac? Uh, uh, not mac and cheese. Uh, ice cream always makes me thirsty. I know. And I brought. We're going to have an unveiling. I brought my own mead I made at home. Red, pink, and blue, which is originally what color they wanted the American flag. Looking up in a history book. <laughs> but it's got pink lady apples, red grapes, and blueberries. So, and honey, obviously, honey wine. Right on. Uh, have you made this before? Not that particular one. I've made mead before, like okay. a couple of different, yeah. So I first found out about mead maybe two years ago and had some. Um, yeah, I was pretty impressed. And so when Tim told me he had some mead for me, I said, let's, or I wasn't going to turn it down. Yeah. Well, I went on comedy tour like three or four years ago and we did a couple 
meteries, like we played a couple meteries in Wyoming. Nice. And I'm like, I want to try making this. And I made, I think it was like my fourth or fifth batch. How long did it take you to make? Like, actually making it probably only took maybe an hour or so. But then you have to let it sit and cool down before you put in the yeast. So that takes a little bit longer. And then I let it sit for like two months. Right on. Made with pink lady apples, red grapes, blueberries. Yep. Pretty sweet label. And you did your own bottling? Yeah. Where do you get those from? Uh, I just had random bottles. Right on. And then bottle caps. Yeah, my cousin my cousin made uh, Sooner Art on Instagram, I think. If you want to look her up, she made the label. So. You want to crack one? Yeah. You have a bottle open? It's cute. tool. It's kind of open in there. Go for it. Oh. Right, can... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So on a scale of Viking helmets, out of eight Viking helmets, I'm going to give this uh, a six out of eight Viking helmets, six and a half helmets, actually. I'm getting some of that aftertaste. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I kind of like those, uh, like, drier kinds of, kinds of wine that, that has some remnants of that. Um, six and a half. Oh. I like it. Thank you. Cheers. That means go out and get it now. I mean, it's not for sale, but. Message me and I can get you some. <laughs> well, here, actually, what I'm going to do. Oh, this was not planned, guys. This was not planned. Oh, I planned it, but <laughs> I didn't tell you. <laughs> Putting the ice cream in the mead, folks. Oh, there's some chemical mead, reactions yeah. happening. Mead, but we'll see. I'm going to give this. Alright, since you did it, I'll do it too, man. Try it. It's, it's not too bad, actually. <laughs> mac and cheese in the honey wine. Oh, there's little pieces of macaroni in here, too. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I don't know if it helps. Well, maybe. It just makes it a little more, I feel like, salty. Yeah. I think I'd give it four out of seven. No, I'd give it like two out of seven noodles. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you want to plug, Tim? Um, I have a podcast out. It's the end of the show as we know it. I think there's new episodes coming out whenever this airs, but um, look it up on Spotify. We're just on Spotify right now. We talked about Seinfeld. We've talked about like we'll have a Lord of the Rings episode. Yeah, check it out. Me and Maddie Howland, and also check us both me and Thomas out on Facebook for our stand up stuff. Yeah, I've got a page. It's Thomas E McClure. I've got a Facebook page there. Um, that's where I post most of my content, events, and yeah, all my updates are there. Um, Oh, you're doing the, I don't know when this comes out, but this Friday. Yeah, I'm doing the, well, if it comes out after Friday, I'll be the champion, <laughs> Missoula Comedy Champion. Looking at him, folks. Yeah. Missoula's 2022 Comedy Champion. Uh, I don't think I have much coming up soon. Uh, at the end of next month, October 27th, I'm doing a show at the Zach. Uh, alongside, alongside some great Missoula comedians, and we're raising money for uh, Soft Landing Missoula, so come check it out. Buy some ice cream. Um, if you can't buy this mead, but I recommend buying mead wherever mead is sold.
All there's right. a good one. I mean, if you're in Montana, there's a good one down in Corvallis, I think, Hidden Legends Meadery. Sweet. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's cut. Ooh.